Alice in Wonderland is a story that everyone knows. The 1915 silent film was the first feature-length version that was made. With support from Creative Scotland, I've written just over an hour of music to accompany the film. I've put together a band with four of my favourite players from the scene. Um, Rachel Lightbody, a vocalist. Uh, Norman Wilmore, alto saxophone player. Andrew Robb, double bassist. And drummer and percussionist Tom Bancroft. And I'll be playing piano. Writing the music for this film has been so much fun. It's perfect for jazz. The character of Alice and the audience have no idea what's coming next. The story is about imagination. There's a surreal sense to it all. There are lots of changes of setting and mood, a lot of characters, and the music has to respond to all of that. One of my favourite parts of the film is where Alice encounters the caterpillar. With the music here, we're trying to depict this character who is really quite rude and argumentative. He's also an example of the effort that went into making the costumes, which are so important for this film and really great for a fantasy film over a hundred years old. After meeting the caterpillar, we get to the famous poem, Father William. And this film actually contains the whole poem, which isn't actually the case for some of the more recent adaptations that you might have seen. These shots here are directly referencing the illustrations from the first edition of the book, which were done by the illustrator John Tenniel. One of the reasons I chose to write a score for Alice in Wonderland was to challenge myself to write music in a different style to what I'd done before. For this, I've tried to write really good melodies. I really want to write the best tunes I can. That will help the musicians to 
find something to latch on to that they can improvise with. I think having a live score really brings another dimension to a film. It's going to be so exciting to perform this live. Thank you.